So what is the Modern Slavery Act? Uh, this is a piece of legislation that came into force in October 2015 and it consolidates pre-existing slavery offences into one act with the aim of making it easier to prosecute the perpetrators. Various other provisions were also introduced with the act, sentences uh, were made tougher and there was a defence introduced for uh, victims of slavery who have been forced to commit crimes. But critically for businesses, it also introduced a reporting obligation under Section 54 which requires certain businesses meeting certain thresholds to produce a modern slavery statement for each year, stating what they've done to try to eradicate modern slavery from their business and supply chain. So the businesses that that reporting obligation applies to are any commercial organisations which carry on business or part of a business in the UK, which supply goods or services, and which have a turnover of at least 36 million per year. So what steps should businesses actually take or consider taking to comply with the Modern Slavery Act? If the legislation applies to you, and it will apply to many, many businesses, then uh, the useful sort of summary of what should be complied with is set out in the guidance under Section 54 as to what should be put in the Section 54 statement. And really, that can be broken down into six elements. The first of those is to set out what the structure of your business is and the structure of your supply chains. And the idea behind that is that it will give transparency uh, as to what your business is doing and where. The second uh, factor that you are encouraged to cover are your policies. What are your policies in relation to compliance with the Modern Slavery Act? And so those would set out the principles and the methods that you're seeking to adopt to deal with the problem. The third aspect is to set out the due diligence uh, rules or principles that you apply. So for example, with new suppliers, do you expect them to complete a questionnaire that sets out how they deal with the modern slavery question? The fourth aspect is to set out the steps that you've taken. And those, for example, might include measures like uh, inspections of factories or warehouses and things like audits on a regular basis that prove to yourselves that you are actually ensuring that the business itself or the supply chain are remaining compliant in accordance with the policies that you have set out. And indeed, related to that is the fifth point, which is that you should ideally set out the performance indicators that you will use to benchmark whether or not you are complying with the Modern Slavery Act and your policies uh, as you go through. And the last point, but an important one, is the question of training. And you are encouraged to set out what training you give your business and those of your suppliers to ensure compliance with the legislation. And really the point here about all these recommended inclusions is that they're all pointers that you are approaching this issue properly and that you are dealing with the potential issue. And in an ideal world, that statement should be, and those steps should be improving year on year in what the sort of government has referred to as the race to the top in relation to modern slavery compliance. So is modern slavery really an issue that businesses in the UK today need to be concerned about? The short answer to that is yes. So there's a common misconception that slavery in the UK is a thing of the past, but actually it's still a very prevalent crime. And the government currently estimates that there are between 10 and 13,000 slaves in the UK. Now, that figure could actually be much higher because it's an extremely complex crime, which is often hidden in plain sight. So we really don't have an accurate idea of, of how prevalent this crime is. Um, what we do know is that prosecutions for slavery offences are increasing, they're rising year on year. So in 2016, we saw 80 prosecutions as compared to just 26 in 2015. And some of the recent high profile prosecutions also reinforce the fact that this really is an issue in the UK that, that could be touching on your business. Uh, so for example, in September 2017, we saw 11 members of the same family convicted for slavery offences, having kept 18 men in slavery, some of them for up to 26 years. 
And then in 2016, we saw the owner of the bed manufacturing company, Cozy Sleep, prosecuted having employed a slave workforce to make beds, which were ultimately supplied to high street retailers. So what are the sanctions or implications of businesses that are subject to the Modern Slavery Act not complying with it? Well, there's really two levels or three levels probably to look at this. The first one is that the core offences, which are sometimes forgotten uh, in the debate around the Section 54 notice, but the core offences uh, can be sanctioned by life imprisonment. So those are obviously very serious indeed. But let's assume that your business will not have modern slavery occurring within it, and it's a question of complying with the other requirements of the legislation. In theory, the legislation provides for an injunction to be obtained by the Secretary of State in relation to non-compliance with Section 54. So if you have not put a statement up uh, on the home page of your website when you're required to do so, then they could obtain an injunction demanding that you do so. But I think it is uh, certainly at the moment uh, recognised that that power has not been exercised and at the moment is unlikely to be exercised. The government's approach has been much more in terms of persuasion and encouragement rather than using the draconian remedy of a court injunction. But beyond that, one also needs to consider the questions of NGO interest, uh, non-governmental organisations who are increasingly active in reporting on what people are saying, how they're saying it, and whether they are doing enough to combat this crime. In addition, there is the broader press. Uh, and as has been mentioned before, there are court cases that have come to court uh, with people being prosecuted for uh, serious offences under the Act. And so any uh, sort of colour of that being applied to any business is obviously uh, deeply unattractive. So should businesses outside of the UK be concerned about compliance with the Modern Slavery Act? The Modern Slavery Act has actually been drafted to give the UK a fairly broad international jurisdiction in relation to modern slavery. And uh, the key wording in Section 54 here is that those businesses that carry on business in the UK or carry on part of a business in the UK will be required to comply with Section 54 and, and produce a modern slavery statement. So what this means is if we have a foreign company incorporated elsewhere than in the UK, if they're carrying on part of a business, and, and what that means will be determined on a common sense approach, they will be required to publish a statement. And this means that other businesses, for example, that might have subsidiaries in the UK could also potentially be caught. There are increasing numbers of um, countries around the world that are introducing similar legislation. So, for example, uh, California already had its own similar legislation, which was enacted in uh, 2010. Uh, France has also introduced very similar legislation, which requires businesses or certain businesses to introduce a vigilance plan. And the Netherlands has also recently introduced new legislation relating to uh, child labour laws. So even if you're not caught by Section 54, it's likely that you will have some other requirements that you may be required to comply with. So how do we see modern slavery developing in the coming years? Well, there have been a number of significant developments over the course of the last 12 months or so. We've had the uh, Slaves on Our Streets campaign that was run by the Evening Standard, a very effective campaign that brought a lot more public awareness of the issues. Moving from that, we had the United Nations General Assembly uh, call to action from Theresa May, where she called on those present to rise to the challenge of dealing with this uh, awful crime. We've also had in the UK, uh, more locally, the introduction, inauguration of the Business Against Slavery Forum, a group of senior business people who are tasking themselves with promoting the need to address this crime and to support the government's various initiatives. Beyond that, further afield, we've had uh, the Australian government committing to introduce the Modern Slavery Act, or a version of it, in Australia uh, by the end of 2018. So what is very, very clear 
is that this topic is not going to go away. There is a massive amount of legislative and public pressure uh, in relation to the whole debate. So what is clearer too is that businesses are going to have to keep this as an area of focus going forward.